I've been looking forward to Yoshi's Woolly World ever since it was announced in January 2013 where it was simply known as Yarn Yoshi. A Yoshi game made completely out of yarn and other cloth all the while being in HD? Sign me up. And it appears the wait for Yoshi's latest adventure was worth it, because Yoshi's Woolly World is an utterly fantastic game. It is leagues better in every way when compared to the last installment in the franchise, Yoshi's New Island on the Nintendo 3DS. The visuals, soundtrack, and gameplay of Woolly World blow New Island out of the water. It's been a whopping 18 years since the last Yoshi game on a home console, and Woolly World is a perfect way to bring it back home. It's just bursting at the scenes with charm and personality. The story of Yoshi's Woolly World is nothing special, which is true for most 2D platformers where their focus is mainly on level design. Even so, Yoshi's latest adventure takes place on Craft Island, aka an island made entirely out of fabric. The evil magic Koopa, Kamek, is up to his old shenanigans once again, and this time he turns the island's yarn Yoshis into Wonder Wool. But wouldn't you know, he misses two of them. So your duty is to rescue your friends and take down Kamek as you travel through a handful of fluffy worlds, and boom, off you go. Right when you jump into the first level of Woolly World, a smile will no doubt creep onto your face because the game's presentation is phenomenal. From the enemies, backgrounds, platforms, and even the water itself, every inch of these stages are made out of yarn and other fabric, and it looks amazing running at a silky smooth 60 frames per second. No pun intended. There is no shortage of color either, with the woolly goodness coming in hues all across the spectrum. It is supremely well designed, making it feel like handmade set pieces coming to life. The fabrics even react in ways you would expect them to, like the yarn flexing under Yoshi's weight, so it all feels really natural. The soundtrack on the other hand is also fantastic, with live instruments being used to flesh out the happy tunes. Acoustic guitars, bass guitars, keyboards, and flutes all bring their lovely sounds to this woolly world. If you are sick of that darn kazoo, then Woolly World is the game for you. <laughs> that rhymes. There is a wide variety of music in this game, but they almost all capture the fun, peaceful, and playful vibe that the game is sporting through its visuals and gameplay. When they need to be spoopy or a bit more bombastic like during boss battles, they will do that, but they all complement their particular scenario super well. And they sound really good. Seriously, Yoshi's Woolly World has a beautifully arranged soundtrack. When it comes to the gameplay of Woolly World, it will feel really familiar to veterans of the Yoshi series. Throwing Yoshi eggs or yarn balls at unsuspecting bad guys, flutter jumping like no one's business, and nabbing an overwhelming amount of collectibles is still fully intact. The yarn balls are a bit more versatile than a normal Yoshi egg this time around in that they can be used to tie up enemies and fill in certain platforms and items, which is a nice little twist. The environments are certainly more dynamic here in that they can be unraveled with the press of a button. Yes, similar to the yarn-tastic Kirby's Epic Yarn, you can pull on strings of fabric with Yoshi's deadly tongue or push cushions to reveal hidden areas. These stages are littered with secrets too, which highlights one of the best aspects of the game the exploration. You can run through these levels pretty quickly if your aim is to just get to the goal at the end, but if you do that, you will probably not enjoy the game. Each level has so much to do and find within them that you'll be in each one for a good chunk of time. There's 5 smiley flowers, 20 special beads that unlock Miiverse stamps, and 5 bundles of Wonder Wool in each and every stage. And Nintendo did a phenomenal job hiding these items because I would go through a level thinking that I searched every nook and cranny and come out at the end missing a handful of collectibles. Thankfully, with the thousands of beads you collect in your journey, you can buy badges before a level that will give you a special ability, like running faster or seeing hidden collectibles. The latter is probably one of the most useful though, especially if you're a completionist. It eliminates a lot of the time you will spend fluttering around through the air trying to find the invisible clouds. Oh, and the bundles of Wonder Wool I mentioned are super awesome. They'll be something that you'll want to collect, because they unlock new costumes or patterns for the Yoshinator. And since there is Wonder Wool to find in every stage, there's a ton of patterns to unlock. It's an amazing perk getting something tangible for going out of your way to find these things, instead of just getting a thumbs up per se at the end of a stage. Besides all that, the level designs are creative and fun. Introducing different ways of using yarn, such as turning booze into balloons by smacking them with a yarn ball, or attaching yourself to velcro conveyor belts. Even the segments and stages where Yoshi changes into various different transformations are delightful, which the same can't be said for the ones found in Yoshi's New Island. Sure, they are really simple, and for the most part easy, but they were a nice change of pace from the slow exploration, considering the gameplay was faster paced during these segments. Plus, who doesn't want to play as a Yoshi motorcycle or Yoshi mermaid? Yeah, I thought so. No one. 
The boss fights, on the other hand, are pretty forgettable and repetitive. While most of them are different enemies, like a giant Koopa Troopa or Lava Dog, the way of defeating them is almost always the same. Sure, the enemy patterns will change, but outside of that, there isn't much creativity applied to taking these guys down. Like, what if there was a boss battle where you had to use the Yoshi Cycle in some fashion? Just something different from the same tactics that are rinsed and repeated. Now, Yoshi's Woolly World does support Amiibo, and the functionality is actually not half bad. The game the game supports the majority of amiibo on the market right now, and when you scan in one of the non-Yoshi amiibo like Mario, Link, Ness, and Rosalina, you will unlock a Yoshi pattern themed after that character. There's nothing special about it besides the way it makes Yoshi look, but it makes Yoshi look adorable, and that's all that's needed. If you use one of the handful of Yoshi amiibo out there and you use it while in a stage, you can spawn a second Yoshi into the game that mimics everything you do. It essentially allows you to replicate a co-op experience while in single player. Having that second Yoshi actually is useful at times, because you can turn him into a yarn ball and throw him, and this is helpful for those specific moments where you run out of yarn. On the other hand, it can be a bit annoying, because the Yoshi will get in the way when you're trying to grab an enemy, but you'll grab the Yoshi clone instead, because it's right in front of you. I only use the Yoshi amiibo two times throughout the entire game, because you usually have a means of getting more yarn balls somewhere in each stage. That yarn Yoshi amiibo is woolylicious though. We're pretty much BFFs now. For only $50 or $60 if you get the bundle with the Green Yarn Yoshi Amiibo, Yoshi's Woolly World is ripe with content that totally justifies the price tag. The game has plenty to do after you hit the end credits. There's the myriads of collectibles to find in each and every stage. There's more difficult special stages to unlock by finding all the smiley flowers in every level of a world and so on. The best part about trying to be a completionist with this game is that you are rewarded along the way with new costumes, levels, and so forth. This is something that some games should definitely take note of. So overall, Yoshi's Woolly World is a supremely delightful game that oozes charm and is just plain old fun that anyone can pick up and play. It's easy if you're just going to run through every level without exploring, but video game veterans will no doubt enjoy the tougher challenges that come with trying to nab all the collectibles, where they can sometimes be in tricky spots. Woolly World's visuals are amazing, the soundtrack is sublime, the game is solid with its heavy focus on exploration, and it does a great job rewarding you for the collectibles. Unfortunately, the bosses are the low point of Woolly World, which seems to be a trend with Yoshi games. Games, but mashing everything together, it's quite a fantastic game. So, in all, I found Yoshi's Woolly World to be an amazing game. And that will bring us to the end of this review. And if you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up, add it to your favorites, and all that good stuff. But I will talk to you all later in the next video, guys. Bye!